Japanese home design is admired everywhere in the world, except in Japan. The aesthetic of minimalism, clean lines and natural wood is usually rejected in favour of brand new factory-built concrete boxes. Across the country, classic wooden houses called minka, or people's houses, built pre-war using immaculate Japanese carpentry, lie empty and rotting, rebuffed by city dwellers who gravitate to cheaply built concrete mass market housing. Fortunately, a new movement is emerging. An increasingly popular solution is to dismantle Minka, move them from their original, often remote locations, and rebuild them with modern facilities somewhere new. Keiji and Atsuko Suzuki bought their relocated Minka in the popular beach town of Oiso, an hour south of Tokyo, for $2.3 million in 1997. Built in 1867, the house is on the market with Sotheby's for $1.3 million. The previous owner of the 3,000 square foot house moved it from the shores of Lake Biwa near Kyoto 35 years ago. It has huge windows overlooking the Pacific Ocean and a triple height ceiling in the living room where heavy black pine rafters intersect with slender bamboo beams. An attic bedroom is reached via two concealed wooden ladders. In the garden, a picturesque thatched hut overlooks a Rotemburo outdoor bath. German architect Karl Bengs says he has relocated, rebuilt and sold more than 40 Minka. One of Mr Bengs' clients is Alistair Pitt, who relocated a house in the mountains of Niigata Prefecture. The 1,886 square foot home cost $263,000 to relocate and renovate in 2005. Yasuhiro Yamashita of Atelier Tekuto used timber from two 100-year-old warehouses to build a weekend home for clients near Kamakura. As Mr. Yamashita says, after the war, we developed a westernised culture and got used to throwing things away and buying new things. And now we look back and realise what we lost.